Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. In 2022, Diane Choplin sold half of her lands when Oregon cut the irrigation season to a quarter of its usual length. Why? We'll find out in this video and also cover a few of the top things you should know about farm irrigation systems. Almost all agriculture in the United States relies on some kind of farm irrigation system, which is a method of applying water to crops to supplement whatever rainfall there is. Now, when you think of irrigation systems, you may imagine an individual water distribution system installed by an individual farmer. And yes, farmers do install irrigation systems on their land, but water also needs to get from reservoirs or streams to farmers like Diane, especially in more arid areas like Central Oregon. For example, Diane's water likely comes from Immigrant Lake, a reservoir created in 1924 by the Talent Irrigation District to supply water for irrigation to the region's farmers. Now, irrigation districts can be found throughout the U.S., particularly in the West. They are usually quasi-governmental public agencies that are responsible for providing water to individual fields. The Talent Irrigation District, Diane's water supplier, has a long and successful history, but today it is in trouble. If we return to the district map, you'll see that Diane's reservoir is only about 29% full, the result of not just one year's drought, but a decade of increasingly dry conditions. Even worse, the district's canals, which ferry water from reservoirs to farms, are open. To understand why this is a problem, you must first know that there are several types of irrigation systems. Four of the most common types include surface irrigation, which occurs when water is distributed over and across the land by gravity, flood irrigation, where water is directed down furrows that have usually been graded to a specific slope, sprinkler irrigation, which is the classic kind of irrigation you may think of involving sprinklers, and drip irrigation, which is used to apply water directly to the root zone of a crop. Of the different types of irrigation systems, the talent districts are open ditch. This kind of system has the advantage of being cheap, but the disadvantage of inefficiency. For one, up to 33% of the already scarce water is lost in transport due to evaporation and ground seepage. Furthermore, because the water the irrigation district delivers isn't pressurized, farmers must use non-pressurized, inefficient systems like flood irrigation instead of precision irrigation such as drip irrigation or sprinklers. So why hasn't the irrigation district upgraded its system? Well, for one, it's very expensive. Piping and pressurizing just one 13-mile open canal is expected to cost at least $56.2 million. And this is just one of several challenges that irrigation districts often face. First of all, they have the worst of both worlds. Like a public agency, they must adhere to strict guidelines. But like a private company, they have a board of directors. These two factors combined makes for messy governance. Most irrigation districts also have limited funding and paid staff. And though funding is limited, they must usually be financially self-sufficient. Fortunately, the Talent Irrigation District is well aware of the problem and is working on a system improvement plan that will include an upgrade to piped and pressurized irrigation systems. This plan will hopefully unlock federal dollars to fund the associated price tag. But if you're wondering what all of this has to do with you, well, if you plan to buy land for agricultural purposes, research both on-farm and off-farm irrigation systems that serve your land. How efficient are they? How will you fare during the next drought? How much will upgrades cost? And how well-funded and governed is your irrigation district? When it comes to irrigation, what you don't know can certainly hurt you, so be prepared. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about irrigation? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com slash listings. 
Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.